Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to be working on a new flower arrangement utilizing a compote bowl that I got from the thrift store. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when my latest videos are up. And make sure you drop me a comment below. Have you utilized chicken wire in your floral designs as what we call a floral frog? Let's check it out. Okay, this is the compote dish that I got from um, the thrift store. A compote is basically a footed bowl. Um, so you can also call it a footed bowl and I'm going to be utilizing a wad of chicken wire in the dish. And what this half, what this does is the chicken wire acts as what we call a floral frog, meaning it holds the stems in place. So I'm going to be working with that today. Okay. I'm going to be working with these queen lime red, uh, zinnias, which I know you're like red, really, but let me actually pull all of these together so you can kind of see all these different colors in one. This is one, like this is one type of seed, right? This is all queen lime red. Look at the variations in color between all of them. More of like a red red, so it's a pink red, greens, darker reds, kind of a lighter tone, so pretty. It's been working with those. I was gonna work with some of these Senorita um, zinnias, but I don't actually think they look that great. I haven't actually enjoyed the variety very much. I don't know if I'm gonna grow them again in the future. We'll see as I'm playing. These are from Hyacinth beans, um, from the vines that I have outside, and basically it has all these little um, sweet little blooms on them, and they're elongated. They have dropped a little bit, but most of them are still really good towards the end. So I'm gonna be utilizing some of those. I also have some Cleome, Cleome, which is also known as spider flower. I've got some meteor showers verbena. I've got some celosia, a couple of celosia, really big pieces. I'm also going to be utilizing a lot of lemon basil. I have a little bit of cardinal basil left and some hot biscuits and marinthus. So a very interesting mix, a lot of detail flowers, a lot of little tiny petite detail flowers. The largest ones I'm utilizing are the zinnias, um, but I think the colors of the zinnias, um, they really bridge a lot of these other colors. So I think it'll be nice. So I'm gonna be doing kind of very, very soft, asymmetrical design, a little bit wild, natural looking. I'm gonna put everything in music today because I have dogs and children running around my house and it is very loud. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. 